For PHNX, I'm Jesse Friedman. What a game we witnessed here at Petco Park tonight as the Diamondbacks lose to the Padres 10-8. They scored six runs in the top of the ninth to turn a 7-2 deficit into an 8-7 lead. Then they lost in the bottom of the ninth on a walk-off home run by Manny Machado. Three takeaways for the game for me. First of all, Diamondbacks closer Paul Sewald. He had a terrible night. He's had a terrible week. Nonetheless, it's important to keep a larger perspective. Seawalt, even after blowing his last two saves, has a 3.12 ERA for the season. That is exactly the same as the ERA he had last year. Moreover, Seawald came into this week 11 for 11 in save opportunities. Even the best of closers don't put together full seasons, never blowing a save. It was always inevitable to happen at some point. Seawald on the season is now 11 for 13. That's an 85% conversion rate and totally fine. Certainly, we'll have to see moving forward if he continues to struggle or if he's able to turn things around. But as for right now, Seawald was never going to be perfect, and this week is simply a reflection of that. We all have those days, and um, you know, unfortunately, it happened today. But you know, I, I have faith in, in Seawald that he's going to bounce back and and uh, you know, get us some saves here here soon. So, um, you know, he's an awesome guy, an awesome teammate. And uh, he wants the best for everyone, and we want the best for him. So, you know, we're going to have his back, and uh, you know, no matter what. Takeaway number two, Randall Gritchick, what the Diamondbacks were able to get from him in the top of the ninth inning. The D-backs had Corbin Carroll at second base with two outs in the ninth, still down by a run. Cattell Marte was due up, the Diamondbacks' best hitter, but Marte was not able to take the at-bat. He was experiencing some lower back tightness. Torrey Lovello, the Diamondbacks' manager, said Marte is day-to-day. D-backs needed another man to go to, and Randall Gritchick was the guy for the job. Gritchick is a right-handed hitter. His primary role on the D-backs is to hit lefties, but in this situation, he encountered one of the best right-handed relievers in all of baseball in Robert Suarez, and he hit arguably the most dramatic home run of the season for the Diamondbacks, a pinch hit two-run homer that put them out in front eight to seven in the top half of the ninth inning. It's even more, more remarkable when you consider that Grishik certainly was not preparing to face Suarez up until the very final moments when it happened. I imagine you weren't expecting to face Suarez in particular <laughs> until pretty late. Definitely not. I, I mean, I mean, obviously my role here, I don't, don't expect to face a righty in the ninth ever, um, starting or not. So uh, it was a bit of a shock, but um, understanding the situation, um, you know, just had to go in there and put my best foot forward. Third and final takeaway here is the Diamondbacks catcher Gabriel Moreno played third base in this game. That's right. The D-backs catcher logged his first inning in his D-backs career as a third baseman. Moreno was signed initially as a shortstop. He did play four innings with the Toronto Blue Jays at third after coming up over there. But this was the first inning that Moreno has played there this season. What makes this truly crazy is that it actually could have happened in back-to-back -back games. After Thursday's game in Los Angeles, manager Tori Lovello was adamant that one of the best things Christian Walker did was keep Geraldo Perdomo from being ejected after Eugenio Suarez had already been ejected in the eighth inning of that game. Lavello knew that if both of those guys had been ejected, he would be down an infielder and likely have to do exactly what he did today by putting Moreno in the game at third base. It wasn't an ideal situation. Moreno didn't wind up having to field anything. There were no balls to field in the bottom of the ninth for Paul Seawald. A brutal loss overall here for the Diamondbacks. There's no getting around it. We'll see how they respond here over the next couple of days.